Good afternoon, God bless you all. I hope you're having a good day. Mine is much more peaceful. Everything is okay, fine. And I'm going to continue with Jeremiah chapter 10. It's from verse 1 to verse 25. The first part talks about idols and the true God. And from verse 17 to 25, it talks of panic in the country. Well, that's what exists in our country right now, doesn't it? Panic and fear. Um, that's all I'm going to say. Um, in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Come, Lord Jesus, send your Holy Spirit upon me. Thank you. Listen, house of Israel, to the word that Yahweh addresses to you. Yahweh says this, Do not learn the ways of the nations, or take alarm at the heavenly signs. Alarmed though the nations may be at them, yes, the customs of the peoples are quite futile. Wood, nothing more cut out of a forest, worked with a blade by a carver's hand, then embellished with silver and gold, then fastened with hammer and nails to keep it from moving. Like scarecrows in a melon patch, they cannot talk. They have to be carried, since they cannot walk. Have no fear of them. They can do no harm, nor any good either. Yahweh God, there is no one like you. So great you are. So great your mighty name. Who would not revere you, King of nations? Yes, this is your due, since of all the wise among the nations and in all their kingdoms, there is not a single one like you. All of them are brutish and stupid. The futile one's teaching is but wood. Silver leaf imported from Tarshish and gold from Ophir. The work of carver or goldsmith, then dressed up in violet and purple. All the work of skilled men, but Yahweh God is the true God. He is the living God, the everlasting King. The earth quakes when he is wrathful. The nations cannot endure his fury. Tell them this. The gods who did not make the heavens and the earth will vanish from the earth and from under these heavens. By his power he made the earth. By his wisdom set the world firm. But his discernment spread out the heavens. When he thunders, there is a roaring of waters in heaven. He raises clouds from the remotest parts of the earth, makes the lightning flash for the downpour, and brings the wind from his storehouse. At this, all people stand stupefied, uncomprehending. Every goldsmith blushes for his idols, his castings are but delusions. With no breath in them, they are futile, a laughable production. When the time comes for them to be punished, they will vanish. The heritage of Jacob is not like these, for he is the maker of everything. And Israel is the tribe that is his heritage. 
His name is Yahweh Sabaoth. Panic in the country. Pick up your pack from the ground, you the besieged. For Yahweh God says this, Now I shall throw out the inhabitants of the country this time and bring distress on them so that they may find me. Disaster is on me. What a wound. My injury is incurable. And I used to think, if this is the worst, I can bear it. But now my tent is destroyed. All my ropes are snapped. My sons have left me and are no more. No one is left to put my tent up again or to hang the side cloths. The shepherds are the ones who have been stupid. They have not searched for Yahweh God. This is why they have not prospered and why their whole flock has been dispersed. Listen, a terrible noise, a mighty uproar from the land of the north to reduce the towns of Judah, to desert, to a lair for jackals. I know Yahweh, no one's course is in his control nor is it anyone's power as he goes his way to guide his own steps. Correct me, Yahweh God, but with moderation, not in your anger, or you will reduce me to nothing. Pour out your anger on the nations who do not acknowledge you and on the families that do not call on your name, for they have devoured Jacob, have devoured and made an end of him, and reduced his home to desolation. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. I hope you have a very blessed and holy day. I'm going to continue recording. I will do a de Bible daily dip. I might use the family Bible at some point and because um, I do love the wording. And um, I think I would like to read from Job because that's the readings of the church at this time and I actually love Job. So I might be doing Job. But I'll also be doing some children's stories. I've got to catch up to them. Yes, I've got lots and lots of children's stories. Endless. <laughs> old and big and old and new and <laughs> treasured ones too. <laughs> all right then. God bless you all. You have a lovely, happy, holy day. And I send you the peace of Jesus Christ.